What's up everybody, this is Chemist Keeps Growing, my name is Chemist and today I'm going to do a video with you, no, no video, video with you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Chemist Keeps Going, my name's Chemist and today I'm going to do a get to know my friend tag. You would have seen my friend here in some of my videos previously, they're, all, they're going to be linked around so check them out, but I thought it would be interesting for you guys to get to know him considering he will probably be in more videos going forward. Let's get into the video. I scoured the internet, looked for a few questions, added a few of my own. <laughs> well, well, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know Who are you and where are you from? So my name is Robert. Um, I'm from the United States. I'm from New York. I uh, haven't lived there in about six years now. I've been uh, you know, traveling Europe and you know, it's places. Been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. So, <laughs> But yeah, so that's me. Next question is, how long have we known each other and how did we meet? 2013 is when we met? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we met actually, uh, ironically, we met on a boat party, yacht party uh, in Miami. Uh, we were, I was actually talking to some people in the group of people that he knew um, and it just happened to be dinner time and they called for dinner so we all just happened to sit down and um, we just kind of started talking out of nowhere. And yeah. yeah just, okay. So leading on from that, what did you think of me the first time we met? I guess sip my drink. <laughs> Uh, no, initially I thought you were really cool. It just seemed like a really good, wholesome person. Um, and yeah, the com conversation was good. And for me, you know, I, I like to talk a lot. It wasn't just a typical born and superficial type of talk. So, but um, one thing I've always wondered is what, what was your opinion of me when you first met me? Um, Robert was talking to some friends in my circle that I was traveling with at the time. And we all got called to dinner and I went to find my friends and you were sitting there. I had pretty much left my friends at that point. <laughs> hopefully they're not watching. Well, hopefully you're watching. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think maybe we spoke about like Brit some British things or something. Yeah, I'm sure. Or right, European too. things and stuff like that. So I think it was probably along those lines. Yeah. So, oh, you know, he's a cool guy. You know, we got on very well. So it was, it was all good. So yeah, for me, that was my first impression. What was the moment that you thought we'd be friends? That would actually be the next year, when because um, I had just moved to Miami the, the year we met, 2013, um, and then I just left Miami the next year. <laughs> the fo yeah, the following year. When when I first met him, he had just moved to Miami, literally. Yeah, didn't even have the place yet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then when I met him again the second time, he was leaving that place. Because yeah, so, um, I helped you move out. That's what I'm saying. That was, that was the moment I knew. Uh, you came up to the house, um, and did I get you? I don't know how you got You took the taxi, I think. That was about uh, yes, 45 wow. minutes. On the drive. Yeah, it's not close. Yeah, yeah. So you came to visit him. Um, I had my dog there. So, you know, you were seeing the dog and things and you helped me pack and everything like that. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Because you know how people say, I'll keep in touch and this and this and this. Um, like I said, one, you really did keep in touch. Um, and the fact that, you know, you, you took the trip to come see me up there. Because yeah, I remember um, I was staying, I was staying at the Intercontinental that year, wasn't it? That no. Was yeah, yeah, that was the Intercontinental. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because so I was we, moving out of my place and then we did, we did the place in, in Brickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were staying in separate places, but we did make hang an effort to meet up and hang out. And I remember, and, yeah. Because yeah, we even came up to Intercontinental a couple times, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember that. Yeah. And then we went to, when we were moving his stuff, we went to your storage area, which is a whole nother, uh, it's like a whole retail store. There's so <laughs> much stuff there. <laughs> still there to this day yeah. <laughs> what was the craziest thing that's happened when we've been together <laughs> right. i don't want my, a crazy moment oh, he's probably gonna be watching i'm gonna feel bad i was it was the first time i came to visit for your birthday oh gosh for me that was just so crazy and it was like you got so drunk which i'm not used to seeing him drunk so it was so excited. And probably was, I've only seen him twice drunk. Mm. And the, the like that, years. like yeah. that. Yeah, so yeah. So he was completely out of it. We get to a, we went to this restaurant, which was supposed to be his, you know, place to go, favorite restaurant. Um, the little Asian place in uh, called oh, Chinatown. Chinatown. Oh gosh. We get in, sit down. I'm hungry now. Mind you. We sit down. He runs out. He's throwing a bright outside the door. <laughs> Who does this? 
<laughs> and they were acting like they never seen anybody drunk before. I was just like, <laughs> and, and this is I've been walking through the streets, and I'm like, aren't you British people supposed to be of class? <laughs> What's going on? But yeah, I was just like, this is crazy. Crazy that they were acting like you. Like, like we need to take you to the hospital, and I was like, really? <laughs> I was lost. Like, I was so so confused. I was like, let me just be quiet. <laughs> Offend anybody? Yeah, it was but, uh, it was a cra- it was a crazy night. That much I can say. Fun, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set myself up and ask the same question though. So, what was uh, what of the many crazy moments that um might have provided for you? What was your craziest like? There's a lot. Um, I mean, oh, feel free not to answer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh God, yeah. Oh goodness. Well, okay, when we were. I take my question. <laughs> When we were in Miami and we were staying at the Eve, okay, and we were in separate rooms, and I remember we were getting ready to go out. He went to his room, went to <laughs> lay down, right? Oh my God! When I tell you, because he'd been drinking already, and I was so worried because he's like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna go to our rooms, we're gonna get ready," although he'd already been drinking. And then we got ready, and I was calling calling, nothing on his mobile, the actual f- hotel phone in the room, no answer. I went down, I was knocking on the door, no answer. Because he'd been drinking, I was like, has something happened, you know, has he passed out? So I had to go downstairs, explain to security that I needed somebody to enter the room because my friend had been drinking and I was worried that he, <laughs> that, you know, that something bad had happened. So security had to come up and open the door and he was sleeping and the first thing he was like, no, 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 we need to go out. And I was like, you're in no fit state to go out. You went back to sleep. I went out with the others, mm. and then when we came back, he was so, I was so mad. mad. Like, <laughs> why did y'all let me sleep? <laughs> what? Wake me up, get me up. Like, well, that for me was the craziest, well, one of the craziest moments. <laughs> describe yourself in three words, and then describe me in oh, three words. Man. Loyal. Mm. Um, overly honest. <laughs> Blunt. That works too. <laughs> Perfectionist? Is that a... Yeah, I no. think so. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's, okay. that's me. Right. You... <laughs> I would say, uh, the first thing that comes to me is, buy the book. Okay? <laughs> is buy the book. If they say, do not walk on that side of the road, do not walk on that side of the road. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you're ready to buy the book. That's um, the British side of me. No. <laughs> it's a little tea. I say you're very loyal as well. You're a very good loyal person overall, not even just friend, but just overall loyal person. Mm. And I'm well, amazing chef doesn't describe you, but it's amazing chef, so we'll put that to the side. You're you're just very kind-hearted. Okay, that's cool. I I'll take it. <laughs> trying to be nice today. Oh, because <laughs> it's Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> what is something that you distinctly associate with me? For me, luxury brands, like whenever I see it, no, that sounds, well, I mean, you are that person. <laughs> but luxury brands for me just automatically makes me think of you. So if I'm like walking the mall and, I, and I'm in that area, I don't know why, but it just makes me think uh, of you. I would say for me, something that distinctly reminds me, I don't know what it is, gold. Because <laughs> he loves gold, anything gold. We went out today to m and right? I saw in the fridge that they had this gold, these gold bottles of Prosecco. I walked past him and the first thing I thought is, I bet you Robert's gonna go over there. I walked around the store, he wasn't with me. I turned the corner, he's right there looking at them. And I said to him, oh my God, I knew you were gonna go there. He's just drawn to anything gold. And it's like, you'll see, you'll see in my video when I do my unboxing, there was something in there I actually got, which again, reminded me of Robert. What is your favorite color? I already know this. I'm gonna say it's blue. Okay. Yes, blue is my favorite color. Um, I used to battle back and forth between red and blue, but blue has definitely taken over. What's your favorite drink? Tequila. I don't know why you asked Whether- me. I've actually started trying it with um, tonic and other, uh-huh. like, less... I get to, you know what, tequila and tonic is a thing, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. I've, I've done it a couple times, it's not too bad. The last question is, <laughs> what do you do when... <laughs> no. 
the last, the, bill. <laughs> the last question is, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would that be? And I think I know the answer to this one. No, I don't, just, you, I don't want to be honestly. Um, I, I think what you would, you're thinking, okay, London is my favorite place in the I world. I say um, London. My heart is in London. Uh, however, comma, space and slash and everything else. <laughs> Living in Dubai, um, changed that a bit because honestly, I was not in a rush to get back here. Um, I think it's the weather for him. Yeah, for me, I, I just love nice weather, being able to wear tank top 24-7. It's for me. Um, I, I've i always loved rain as it is. And mm. some people are like, how could you live in London? I excused it for the time I was here because I just love the city so much. And like, so most of my good friends are here. Because even now, like, so I'm in Germany now, for those of you that don't know, he didn't ask me all that. Yeah. Um, and it's not as rainy, but... Um, I'm not leaving Europe again, I can tell you that. I keep saying this, but Greece wouldn't be a bad place. Really? I would look, it's, I can hop and pop to London and you know, my place is in Europe. Mm -hmm. The weather is pretty nice there. Their waters are so beautiful. I would go with Greece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Greek island would be nice. Okay then. And it's still fun. What about you? At this present moment mm -hmm. in my life, no. London is home. London will be home forever, as far as I know. I still need a live that I'm be 70 in the club, like, hey, we're working hey. So that he's almost going to be getting any day soon. <laughs> so it's the fifth year old. <laughs> okay. Okay, on that note. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> See, even she knows it's time to go. <laughs> All I want to say guys is thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Click the subscribe button. Please click the like button. Thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel. It helps me. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess I won't say how I'm best. I was like, yeah. <laughs> glad you messed up.